Steve Hobson with Bus Transport reporting live on the CV show. We've got Mike Penny in Transport Bus with me. It's his first visit to the CV show, so let's see what he makes of it. It's fantastic. I mean, there seems to be a real enthusiasm to be here, and there seems to be real growth. And you know, as you've heard me say many times before, this country doesn't grow, businesses don't grow. We can't get out of this country. Yeah. So it's fantastic to see the CV show back after a two-year break. Is this your first time on the show, or what would you make of it? It's the first time on my show. I mean, I've heard all about it over the years. I've been driving lorries myself, long before I got into this job. So I've heard all about it. It's great to see it back. It's great to see the enthusiasm back as well. And I'm here to make sure that I can help in doing that as well. I mean, I'm the spokesman for the industry in Parliament and in Government, so I want to give them that enthusiasm here today. One of the big talking points of the show is obviously along with semi-trailers. The consultation has just been published. What are your early thoughts? What are your personal views on the benefits of long well, I, like when I announced uh, the, the announcement for the consultation, I do see the benefits. I also understand within the industry there are some concerns as well. That's why we need to consult properly. But to me, if we can have longer, have more on, the same weight, I'm not going to have bigger lorries, you know, longer trailers. That to me is a bit of a no-brainer. But I do accept there are concerns, particularly the smaller operators, as to whether we, how we phase this in. Yeah. I mean, one concern about the trailer manufacturers is they're going to get longer semi-trailers and they have to compromise on the height. What's your view on this sort of move to try and limit our double deck trailers? I've got no intention of compromising on the height. There's no reason for the, the UK industry to do that. And I've been pushing back very hard against my European friends to do so. I don't think it's got anything to do with them. This is our industry and our country and we will push back against them. That's great news, I'm sure. I'm glad to hear that. The other thing which is a talking point of the show is Euro 6 on its way in 2014. It's going to be more expensive, heavier lorries. All the manufacturers are very key to see some sort of financial incentive to get the early adoption of Euro 6. What's your views on that? I think it, it, how we adopt Euro 6 is really important and I need to make announcements to Parliament about that. Cash incentives is a matter for the Treasury, not for a lowly transport minister. But I will un tell the Treasury the concerns that the industry has. But we need to phase this through, gently through, so that we everybody understands what's happening rather than being bounced all the way through. I, I hear their concerns and I'll take them back to the Treasury. Fantastic. Well, it's good to see you, Minister. Good to see you. Good pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. I just want to drive some of these trucks. <laughs> I'm actually going to Donington on Friday um, to the, the truck racing, so that'll be great fun as well. Great. Have a good time. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye.